Friends, today is Saturday, the 18th of July. Back in the cathedral, a beautiful day, and today we celebrate the feast of St. Camillus, Camillus de Lillis. Nice little redundancy there. Camillus de Lillis, San Camilo, San Camilo, who is the patron of nurses and hospitals. And how appropriate to celebrate his feast during this pandemic and to remember the, all the people through the ages who have assisted us with health care, but especially today with the nurses, doctors, other health care workers who put their lives at risk for us. And this uh, generosity, of course, is something that uh, had been a part of the Christian mission for centuries and centuries, well, since Christ himself. Our gospel today says that uh, Jesus went to a deserted place. Let me find it here. And they brought to him the sick. They brought to him the sick. And it says he cured them all. Concern for them, he cured them all. Part of the breaking into the world of the kingdom is healing, healing, the healing of the sick. A little story about St. Camillus. I feel a kind of bond to him, a person I had never really even heard of until I myself went to Rome, lived there for a while, and had the opportunity to just kind of wander through the city and to see what it had to offer a very ancient and interesting city. And I remember taking my guidebook, heading out, and stopping first at St. Peter's, and there, the long knee nave at uh, St. Peter's has these colossal statues in niches all the way along. And the statues are of founders and foundresses of religious orders. And the, you know, the big ones, St. Benedict, St. Dominic, uh, and so on. But then you get some that perhaps you haven't heard of before, like San Camilo, St. Camillus de Lillis, I remember stopping at his statue, looking at him, seeing a cross on his religious garment. Of course, it was not in color, but uh, part of the religious garment of the chameleons, as they were later called a religious order, was a red cross. And I was to find out later that that red cross ultimately became the symbol of healing and medical care. The International Red Cross would take up that cross centuries, centuries later. But St. Camillus was the one where it originated. St. Camillus, uh, you know, typical of many saints, had a very difficult childhood, adolescence. He was a gambler, addicted to gambling in his teenage years. And like many who weren't sure what to do with their lives, he entered the military and uh, fought against the Turks with the Venetian troops. And he was wounded, and seriously wounded in his leg, a, leg, a wound that was considered incurable. And the Capuchins in north of Italy took him in to one of their monasteries and assisted him. And while he was there, he underwent a kind of conversion, a conversion not unlike so many others, like St. Ignatius himself. A conversion. He wanted to join the order, but they refused him because of that wound, which would not heal. Camillus found his way down to Rome and to a hospital, San Giacomo degli Incurabili, St. James of the Incurables. You know, a hospital in those days, I wouldn't really call it a hospital, a place for people who went to die, who had incurable illnesses, and the conditions were appalling. And St. Camillus saw that, and he saw that with a couple of simple things, life could be better in this hospital. Clean it up, serve decent food. And so he simply gathered a few disciples around him who were, had the same interest to live out their faith, and they started cleaning things up. And soon enough, he became the director of that hospital and the very beginnings of his religious order. As I wandered out of the Basilica into the city of Rome, Rome, crossed the Tiber, after thinking about this Camillus and who he is, 
whether it was coincidence or chance, I looked at a plaque on a building and it said, here lived Camillus Delilus. I looked at the, the building and so on, and it said that he was buried in the church adjacent to it. So I went in and there was the tomb of St. Camillus. I said a thank you to him and a thank you to all the healthcare workers who today continue to give their lives for us. Hold that thought and we'll see you tomorrow.